They're going to be at the mercy of tiebreakers to see if they can make it in. Let's jump into game number three here between Inglis and Wellman and see how things have gone. Things at least from tr uh, trying to grok this year, we have a Mayhem Devil and a Witch's Oven and a Cauldron Familiar in the graveyard here for David Inglis. Now, if you're looking at Julian's side of the table, does have a lot of interaction though. Does have a braid. Need to make the decision as to whether or not you're going to go for the Witch's Oven or kill the Mayhem Devil. You can go a braid and also Ether Gust and Voltage Surge, right? So can if he can play a land this turn and cleanly remove three things. Cannot go for the Transmogrify, I don't believe, as there is a treasure token in play and a food. So that's two damage on board. Can he go for Nisika's Chariot into Transmogrify on the following turn? Looks like he's deep in the tank here, Paul. This this is a huge, huge turn. If you just if you just look, David is so close to just setting up all the pieces that he needs right. to prevent Julian from ever comboing off with Transmogrify. And that means that Julian may need to take some risk that he's otherwise uncomfortable taking. And it looks like he's going to delay the proceedings a bit here with Ether Gust. He's got to be careful with that rope, too. He doesn't have any timeouts. Yeah, I mean, Ether Gust, the Mayhem Devil, a Braid, the Witch's Oven, right? And Voltage Surge, the 2 2 token. That sets him back That's a, a lot. Great, <laughs> great turn here for Julian Wellman. And. Rough day here for Julian. Had a fantastic start yesterday. Yeah. Seven and one. And now one and four on the day. Yeah, this Explorer deck has not been kind to Julian. So David can go double Mayhem Devil this, this turn. I mean, usually when you can, you do. <laughs> right? right, I mean, Double Mayhem Devil gets absolutely ridiculous. Killing the Reflection. Yeah, Julian wants to keep it from three Mayhem Devils next turn. Right, but I mean, the second, and, 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 but if you play the second Mayhem Devil with the food and the Cauldron Familiar in the graveyard, you have the ability to, to kill this cat token, not worry about Transmogrify. This is rough. Now you get to also attack. He's just going to do it now. Right. He's Take out the cat and chip in for two. Get yourself yet another thing to sacrifice, by right. the way, Paul. And you attack. You get the treasure. You drain for one. So now you also have two damage on board, right? Yes. Th this felt... Look, it what looked relatively close, but David Inglis just put an avalanche on Julian Wellman. I, how is he going to get out of this now? He's just never going to have a target. He, he won't. He killed I mean, the if reflection. If there's an oven, then it's like over, right. over. But he killed the reflection. But I mean, that two-two just doing so much work, right? Creating an extra two damage every single time it attacks. That's right. He'll likely throw it in again. Ooh, oh, deadly geez. dispute! Wow. I mean, at this point, David's probably just trying to figure out, okay, can how I, can, can I, I win, win right this now? turn? Yeah, can I? Just I'm win already right now? ahead. How can I win this turn? And I think he's going to go for Dispute on Calder Familiar and see if he can't find a Sacrifice Outlet here. Kill a cat? Yeah, just start mowing him down. Will Julian crew the Zika's Chariot in response? He does. Okay, but now David has the ability to kill the Chariot, right? Because you're going to get a second treasure token here. Thoughtseize, I mean, this has, Thoughtseize. This has to be close to lethal here, if not already lethal. Remember, you can sack both treasures and also activate Den of the Bugbear. Kill Asika's Chariot. Attack for 12. So I think that's it. 12's the number. Sack two treasure tokens. Get in for, Kill the Chariot. Activate the Den. Den gets in for four. The Mayhem Devils get in for six. The 2-2 two -two token gets in for two. That's 12. You generate a treasure token from attacking. That's an additional two points of damage. So he need. actually has two to spare. He has two to spare. <laughs> <laughs> this deck, I swear. And if Julian and had a voltage surge, he would have cast it already. That's right. 
So here it is, the other treasure goes away, and that's going to be the Asika's Chariot hitting the bin. And there's the Den of the Bugbear. Going to pick up that ninth win. Cross wow. the fingers, hope for the best. One slot up for grabs. Disastrous day for Julian Wellman. David Inglis hangs in there tough and finds himself in potentially a top four seat. He is going to have a tough road there for David as well because he's going to be up against every other player with nine wins.